Hi, my name is Gina Cordum. Um, I teach at New Life Academy. I've been teaching AP Lit for 15 years and I'm in St. Paul, Minnesota. Today I'm going to walk you through really briefly about the line of reasoning. The line of reasoning is a newer concept and the idea is that uh, it is the, the golden thread, if you will, that brings all of the paragraphs in your essay together. So I have written a prompt and then a sample essay in response to We Real Cool by Gwendolyn Brooks. If you want, go pause this video, read it. It's a very short poem. Um, the prompt that I have, as you can see here, I just made this up following the stable wording. It says, in the following poem by Gwendolyn Brooks, the speaker presents a group of boys skipping school. Read the poem carefully. Then in a well-written essay, analyze how Brooks uses poetic elements and techniques to convey a complex attitude towards these young men. So in my initial brainstorming, um, I came up with my overall claim, which would be like a thesis, that the boys are proud of their actions, even though they are rebellious, and that the poem ends with an ambiguous meaning. My three sub-claims, which I would imagine would be my three body paragraphs, I would want to focus on the specific diction. I said it was bold, monosyllabic, and that it's really declarative of them being real cool. Um, I also wanted in the second paragraph to talk about how it ended with we, um, and that the emphasis is less on the we because it's at the end of the line and more on the strong verbs at the beginning of each line. And then at the end, in the last paragraph, I would talk about how the we die soon gives an ambiguous ending to, to the poem. And it makes us wonder if the boys are actually proud and they actually think they're real, real cool. Um, so if you go back to my claim, you can see that I do respond to it. But the problem is I don't really respond to it a whole lot until I get to that third sub claim. And so this is an example of, of an outline that's lacking a line of reasoning. I have nothing that really holds it all together. I have to, I'm dependent on that last claim to get to my point. And really strong essays shouldn't have that. They should have a line of reasoning that they keep on referring to in the claim and in all the body paragraphs that holds it together. So then if you look at this next one, I've just added to it a secondary piece of analysis. And I'm going to keep returning to this. And that's what's going to unite all of my essay together. So I, I enhance my claim. This one says the boys demonstrate a complex attitude where they boast of their actions, rebellious and unpleasant as they may be, to overcompensate for society's already low expectations of them. So I have this in red. That's going to be my line of reasoning. That is the point that I'm going to hit on in every body paragraph, and that's what's going to unite them all. So looking at my subclaim, that hasn't changed. Still going to talk about that diction, but now I'm going to tie it to the line of reasoning. So it says, it's as if it was said as a front to overcompensate for their actions. Subclaim number two, still the same, but I added the arrangement makes the boys' actions the focal point while the boys themselves are already being forgotten. And then in subclaim three, I added, the boys act like they're defying a social convention, but the connotations in the end lines imply that they may in fact be fulfilling the expectations for this kind of lifestyle to die soon. And then a strong conclusion would just end that with touching again on the line of reasoning. I hope this helps you with understanding the point and the purpose of a line of reasoning.